Did you know that 80% of traders fail to make consistent profits? It's a tough world out there. But what if I tell you that you can make consistent profits using the 3MA cross trend indicator? Are you ready to dive in? Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about the 3MA cross trend indicator. This great tool is designed to help you identify market trends and make informed trading decisions. If you want to improve your trading game, stay tuned because this indicator can be the key to your success. Now, let's get back to reality for a moment. One of the biggest challenges traders face is identifying market trends. It can seem like finding a needle in a haystack. Many traders only rely on traditional methods, such as moving averages or support and resistance levels. But here's the thing, these methods can be confusing and often leave you rethinking your trades. You might find yourself entering a trade and seeing the market go in the opposite direction, and that can be very frustrating. So, what's the solution? How do we deal with the noise and make better trading decisions? Enter the 3MA Cross Trend Indicator. So, how does it work? This indicator uses three moving averages, short, medium, and long term, to identify potential entry and exit points. When these moving averages cross, it signals a change in trend. Setting it up is very easy. All you have to do is add the three moving averages to your chart and adjust the settings based on your trading strategy. Now, what kind of market conditions is this indicator best suited for? Well, it thrives in trending markets, whether it's upwards or downwards. That means you're more likely to catch those big moves and maximize your profits. Sounds great, right? Now, let's talk strategy. A powerful trading strategy using the 3MA cross trend indicator is the crossover strategy. When the short-term moving average crosses above the medium and long-term average, it is a signal to buy. Conversely, when it crosses below, it is your signal to sell. Let's create a trading setup, friends. Let's know in detail. We have opened a one-minute chart of Tesla. First of all, we click on the trading view indicator. Here you have to search in the search box. 3MA cross with long short. This indicator has to be added to the chart. Here you have to search in the search box. Detrended price oscillator. This indicator has to be added to the chart. Now click on the settings of the 3MA cross with long short indicator. Click on inputs. In MA1, 20 has to be changed to 30. In MA1, 50 has to be changed to 38. In MA1, 100 has to be changed to 115. Save this setting. Now click on the settings of the detrended price oscillator indicator. Change the length from 21 to 25. Click on the style. Some settings have to be changed here. Save this setting. Now our setup is ready. If you get to learn something new on our channel, then definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's see how we use the trading setup. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a short signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is below the zero level, and the market forms a bearish candle, then all these conditions are fulfilled. For this we have to take a sell order, and our stop loss has to be placed at the previous high of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a long signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is above the zero level, and the market forms a bullish candle, then all these conditions are fulfilled. For this we have to take a buy order, and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a short signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is below the zero level, and the market forms a bearish candle, then all these conditions are fulfilled. For this we have to take a sell order and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market, and the risk-reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5.
Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a long signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is above the zero level, and the market forms a bullish candle, then all these conditions are met. For this we have to take a buy order, and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. The market has hit the stop loss. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a short signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is below the zero level, and the market forms a bearish candle, then all these conditions are fulfilled. For this we have to take a sell order, and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a long signal, and the line of the detrended price oscillator is above the zero level, and the market forms a bullish candle, then all these conditions are fulfilled. For this we have to take a buy order, and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. When the 3MA cross indicator gives us a short signal and the line of the detrended price oscillator is below the zero level and the market forms a bearish candle, then all these conditions are met. For this we have to take a sell order, and our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market, and the risk reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. We have won the trade. Now I want to hear from you. Have you ever used the 3MA cross trend indicator or any other trading indicator? Write your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to watch my next video. Thanks for watching, and happy trading.